Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a full in-depth review of the brand new 2019 Genesis G70. And this is gonna be a full in-depth tour where I go around the powertrain, the performance specs, and of course, those all important exterior and interior features. So let's get right into the video. Starting this review off under the hood of the G70, Genesis offers this car with a few different options for the powertrain. Now this is the base G70, so it comes with a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. That's gonna be pumping out around 252 horsepower. But if that's not enough performance for you as far as raw power goes, you can opt to upgrade to a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged V6. And that's gonna put you right around 365 horsepower. And in addition to choosing between engines, you can also swap between an eight-speed automatic or a six-speed manual transmission and rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. So obviously with all these different options for the powertrain, the performance specs you get out of the G70 is gonna vary a little bit, but the fastest model, the all-wheel drive V6, should be able to go zero to 60 in just 4.5 seconds, whereas the most fuel-efficient model, this turbocharged four-cylinder, should get 22 city and 30 highway MPG. So all around, you get a lot of different options for the powertrain of the G70. Jumping here to the exterior of the new G70, you can see it's been given a very nice, luxurious, and sophisticated design. Very smooth and modern. There's nothing entirely groundbreaking about it, but it does have some nice standard features that I'm going to talk about in a minute, starting up front with that Genesis Crest grille. And I really love the way they've given that such a shiny chrome look to it. Very, very smooth. Not at all tacky. Looks great on a luxury car like this. And you also get some standard LED daytime running lights to help the car stand out amongst the rest. Moving along to the side of the car, again, you've got some nice sleek proportions. Still nothing too groundbreaking. It's very safe design, I would say. But I really like the chrome accents they added on the side of the car, particularly here on the mirrors and also on this vent that's gonna help pull hot air out of the brakes to keep them cool. And speaking of the brakes, they're available as Brembo's if you're looking for a little bit more performance. And of course, you get a few different options as far as the style of the rims go. Available with either 18 or 19 inches. Here we see a very nice five-spoke design. And finally, to top it all off in the rear of the car, unfortunately, this is where I'm not a huge fan of the G70's exterior design. The rest of the car looks fairly nice, but in the rear, it just looks a little bit outdated, especially with those taillights back there. But you do get some nice chrome exhaust tips, and as you can see, that's where the trunk opens, and there is a nice amount of space in there as well. So speaking of the trunk and the interior of the car, let's hop in and check out some of the nice features in there. So jumping into the interior of the G70, this is where all the action is and all the nice luxury features and technologies that I'm gonna get into in just a minute. But first I wanna take a moment to talk about the feel of this interior because that's just as important as the way it looks. Of course it comes standard with a lot of nice materials. Here we can see the perforated side bolsters on the steering wheel, very comfortable hold. Also you get standard leather wrapped gear selectors, so that's nice as well. Genesis really paid attention to the things you're gonna to be touching most and that's where they put the best materials. And all around the interior, you get nice leathers that are very soft, nice stitching. I'm a huge fan of this diamond stitching here on the door panel, just adds to a very, very high quality feel. Now, unfortunately, the one place where I think Genesis skimped out just a little bit on the material is with the way the buttons are. It's just the way some of these rotary dials feel, it's just a little bit cheap, and I wish they would have put a little bit more effort and time into just the feel of this interior. These feel like they came straight out of a Hyundai, which to be honest, they probably did. But things do get a little bit better as we move up on the dashboard to that eight inch infotainment touchscreen that comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So of course, standard technology for today, everything that you're gonna need in a luxury car like this. And you also get a standard seven inch driver display here between the two analog style gauges. But if you don't feel like looking at those gauges, you can also opt for an available head-up display, and that's basically gonna project your driving statistics onto the windshield, so you don't have to be going back and forth between the speedometer and the road. You can just always be looking forward and really improve the safety of you and your passengers. As standard, the G70 gets 12-way power adjustable front seats, but you can opt to have 16-way power adjustable heated front seats, and I must say, these are very spacious and very comfortable. It doesn't matter what size you are, you're going to fit in these seats very well, and like I said, the material and the stitching is absolutely fantastic. Just as comfortable as other luxury car manufacturers. I've reviewed cars uh, from BMW and Audi and Mercedes, and I gotta say, these seats are up there with the best of them. Overall, headroom and legroom is fantastic for both the front seat passengers and the rear seat passengers. Storage is great as well. You've got two cup holders, a little storage area here beneath the armrest and another slot up here for your phone in front of the gear selector. 
All around, like I said, this interior has a great design to it. Everything's laid out pretty intuitively. Most of the materials are great. All around, this is a pretty well put together interior. Special thanks to Igor and Fitzgerald Hyundai and Genesis of Countryside for allowing me to come and review this G70 today. I'll leave a link to their inventory below and definitely come by and check them out if you're in the Clearwater area. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.